Same idea here. We're looking to simplify this f of x, and then we'll find all the restrictions on the domain. <coughs> so this term here on the left already has an x plus 4 in the denominator. Uh, but it also has an x minus 5, meaning that here on the right, the denominator is missing an x minus 5. So I'm going to multiply that x plus 4 minus, times an x minus 5. But if I do it to the denominator, so that I don't change the value of the fraction, I need to do it to the numerator as well. All right. Now I'm going to skip that next step where I sh showed those common denominators. I can see I've got common denominators right now of x minus 5 and x plus 4. And my operation is subtraction. On the left here, I've got a 4x minus 2. And on the right, I've got a 2 times x minus 5. So skipping a step kind of is just going to save us a little time on the explanation. Yes, that is x plus 4. Now this one may be a little bit easier to see what's happening because in the last one it was minus just something in parentheses. This one shows us that we really should be distributing a negative 2 into the parentheses. So this would equal from the purple negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times a negative 5 would be a positive 10. And we still got that 4x minus 2. Yes, so now we're just looking to combine like terms. And uh, that may simplify the problem completely. We're, we're going to find out in a second. So let's look uh, at the x's first. I've got a 4x minus 2x, which is 2x. And then I've got a negative 2 plus 10, which would be a positive 8. And the denominator we didn't do anything to. Now the last thing we should do on this is just look at that numerator and see if we can factor anything out from both of those terms, the 2x and the 8. Since they're both even, we know we can factor out at least a 2. So again, this is not going to affect the denominator. All right, so if I factor out a 2 in the parentheses, I'm left with an x, and then I've got a plus 4. All right, so now this part will affect the denominator because this x plus 4 is going to cancel out that x plus 4. The green and the black there. Which leaves us with f of x equals 2, that's a 2, over x minus 5. Well, for the restrictions, we do need to go back to the original denominator. So x minus 5 and x plus 4 can equal 0 individually and this x plus 4 is the same as the other x plus 4 so so we know x minus 5 if it if it equaled 0 then it would make that first fraction undefined because then the denominator is 0 so this one gives us x does not equal 5 that's one restriction and then also we had the x plus 4 in both of them so we don't have to do it twice it's going to be the same x plus 4, it just can't equal 0. And when we solve that, we see that x cannot equal negative 4, which is the second restriction.